Welcome to the DNB Audio Technic D80 and D20 amplifier tutorial. This tutorial will guide you through the basic functions of the amplifiers in five chapters. The D80 and D20 represent DNB's next generation of high power four channel system amplifiers. Each of the four amplifier channels has its own DSP section, including specific setups for all DNB loudspeakers. The setups feature system-specific, non-adjustable settings, which ensure the acoustic performance, reliability and protection of the loudspeakers, such as system EQs, crossovers and limiters. There are also user-adjustable controls for every channel, such as EQ, delay and, in addition, configuration options. These options depend on the type of loudspeaker selected. But first of all, let's have a look from the outside. At the rear, the D80 and D20 each offer four XLR inputs with daisy chain connectors. They accept either analog or digital audio in AES EBU format at 48 or 96 kHz. Also located on the rear input panel are four RJ45 connectors for remote control two connectors for dbcan and two ethercon connectors for ip networks each of the four amplifier channels has its own output connector in addition there is one central nl8 connector which carries the output signals of all four amplifier channels for special applications such as two-way active driven loudspeakers pairs of amplifier channels can be linked electronically this also affects the pin assignments on the corresponding output connectors with the result that a single connector now carries both amplifier signals. On the D20, no electrical linking is possible, but a dedicated output connector is available incorporating a hardwired pin assignment for mixed or two-way active applications. A PowerCon connector for the main supply is located on the rear left side. On the bottom right of the front panel, you will find the power switch. On the left-hand side, you will find the user interface consisting of a color touchscreen and a rotary encoder. Let's have a closer look at the interface. This is the home screen. It shows the most relevant information about the amplifier at one glance. The device name, remote information, the power status, the configurations of the four amplifier channels, levels and mute statuses. To navigate to a specific item on screen, just tap it. This will activate or deactivate a function, select a parameter for adjustment or change to another screen. You can also use the rotary encoder. The item that is currently selected is always highlighted by a white frame. To select a different item, just turn the encoder. To execute or access the selected item, push the encoder. If you want to change a numeric value, just tap the appropriate field. The field will then be marked by a yellow frame, which means that you can now adjust the value by turning the rotary encoder. Recalling data such as loudspeaker setups or amp presets works in the same way. Just turn the rotary encoder to select, then push to execute or recall. Navigating between channels is very easy. When you have adjusted a certain parameter in one channel and you would like to jump to the same function in another channel, just tap the respective channel tab on the right hand side of the screen. The channel you are currently working on is highlighted in light grey. By the way, to switch back to a certain screen or to cancel an action, just tap the back button, which is available in every submenu. To return to the home screen instantly, just tap the home button. Now you're ready for the next chapter of this tutorial.